So this is Jody's Typhoon and here we've got my one. As you can see, Jody's got these GRP slicks on there and we're going to be running them on my Typhoon in this video because mine are, the hexes are stripped, the tires are blown out. So we're going to be trying them out in this video. Go, wheels are on. So if we compare it to Jody's one, my one's a V5 uh, and his one's a V3. The so only difference is, I think, is just the power system. So just about to head out, and the location we're going to is a little way. We've got to walk, so we got a trailer. You actually built that specifically for it, didn't you, yes. Jody? The yeah. trailer. <laughs> Slidey on them. Can I try it? Yeah. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I've put a 14 tooth pinion on there now, so I want to do a quick speed pass. Whoop. 45, okay. Oh, oh dear. Seven's not bad, is it? Hey, oh, Sounds like the robot from Lost in Space. <laughs> Looks like a fly. Oh, that was a good corner. So Joe said that there's a skate park just a couple of miles from here. So we're gonna head down there. We haven't been to this one yet, so we're gonna see what it's like. We're gonna break some stuff today. So Joe's got his bar hard <laughs> back out. He's got some decent gearing on there, so I reckon with those tires. Speed. Oh dear, battery's come out. <laughs> That's the trick. Jump off of there, down slope, nail it, and you get a soft landing. Clear it, clear it, go. Hey, nice. Mm. Oh, oh no! Oh, look at it! <laughs> look at it. Shocks come off. That bit of the chassis is. Oh! We managed to put the shock bottom back on, and it does work. So we might as well keep on going. Is that smooth? Oh! Oh, perfect. Yes! Ah, oh, flipped up. Definitely got to recommend those GRPs, guys. I mean, it made it handle around that BMX track absolutely perfectly. And even off-road as well, we actually had a fair amount of grip. And there's a link in the description in case you want to get some for yourself. I really recommend them. 
so obviously we had that little hit on the chassis at the skate park, but it's kind of done me a favor because it's been in the perfect place, I'll explain. I've heard a couple of other people complain about this and I've had the same problem. So out the box, all the Armour 6S range, they've got a gap in between the motor and the chassis. And when you do big jumps, the motor is just forced into the chassis. It's got no support under there and it can really damage them. You can, you can go through loads of motors doing that. And where the chassis actually hit, I don't know if you can see there, but there's a dip there and it, doesn't have, it hasn't done any damage to the motor. All it's done is just pushed the chassis a bit closer. Only other damage was that shock rod end, but we got a new one on there now, so that's all fixed. And we'll get it out again soon, probably a skate park, I'd imagine, because I, re I really want to give it a good run there. Now I'm waiting on some mini pin tires. I've ordered them up a model sport, but the postal services, are, they're all still on strike, so I'm not sure when they're going to be here. But that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, and I'll see you next time.